Well, it's certainly not fair, but oftentimes it is harder if you're older to get a job. It might take you longer to find one. So we have our employment guru, Joni Daniels, here to give us some advice. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. First of all, what is an older job seeker? Well, I was once told that older means anybody that's 10 years older than you are, but <laughs> legally it's defined as between the ages of 40 and whatever. Okay. But in some industries, older can be, like in the IT industry, older can be in your 30s because it is such a young person's and such a, a, an actively changing um, industry. So sometimes it depends on the industry that you're in as to what's older. That's so hard to hear. I know. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. That, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's why you're here is to tell us this and tell us what to do. So you gave us um, really the top 10 tips. So let's go through them. Okay. All right. So number one, what's the first thing that we need to do? Um, the first thing you have to do is focus on your experience. You are older and you have a lot of experience. And so you want to own it, take pride in it. But with a caveat, don't go back to your first job because okay. nobody needs to hear about what happened before there were computers. Right. So you want to kind of go back maybe 10 or 15 years and then summarize globally whatever you did before that. Okay, you say number two, keep your skills current. Don't look down your nose at Twitter and Facebook and all this new media mm -hmm. technology. Um, take some classes, get your skills up to speed. Know what Facebook is, know what Twitter is, know what blogging is. Be able to talk what people are talking about and be aware of how it's utilized in branding and making organizations more visible on the internet. And all of that stuff is something that everyone can learn. Absolutely. Social media is something you can get up to speed in with one or two sessions with somebody who knows about it. Okay. And then you also say seek out firms that embrace older employees. Absolutely. Instead of going um, going and being trying to be the first one to break down the door, look for organizations that already have a lot of older workers because they already have evidence of the value that older workers bring to the workforce. Now this seems to be the one that it doesn't matter what age you are, network. Yeah, you know what, Megan, it's really important that not only do you get to know other people, but they know about you. So you want to be out there, join organizations, join professional organizations, um, meet people in your neighborhood, let people know who you are, what you do, uh, work on things with people on committees. The more they see what you can do, the more they focus on your skills and less on your age. Okay, you say number five, cast a wide net. Look at organizations that are different than the ones you've been applying to. Um, if you hear that, like, if you hear that people are applying for or, uh, jobs in healthcare and you don't work in healthcare, try submitting your resume and applying for jobs in healthcare. Um, try and uh, look at all the different industries that are available, not just the ones you have experience in. Okay, meet unstated needs. A lot of organizations are looking for people that maybe don't need health care. So if you already have benefits through a spouse okay. or a partner, tell them that. If you have a pension and you don't need to worry about retirement, tell them that. If you can work a second shift or at night or come in early, or you can travel because you don't have kids or family to worry about, let them know because some of those needs are, are the kinds of employees they're actually looking for. And you also say be flexible. If they offer you a part-time job, take it. If they say we only have Saturdays and Sundays available, take it because once you get your feet in the door, you never know what kind of opportunities will present themselves. Consider a career change is the next one. A lot of people mid-career are thinking, you know, I have all these skills and they're really great, but I'd like to do something different and, and they're going back to school, they're learning culinary skills, their hospitality, uh, health care, high tech, um, they're looking at things they like to do as hobbies and looking at how to produce income, jewelry, crafts. It's, it's not necessarily a bad time to think about shifting your career and making a change completely. Okay, the last two we have to get through really quickly because we ran out of time, but use okay, the resources okay. we have. Um, there are websites that are just for older workers. The National Older Worker Care Center, AARP, Senior Job Bank, and Quintessential Careers are all websites that cater just to older workers. All right, and the last one, don't get discouraged. You know, it's hard enough to look for a job no matter what your age. So don't get discouraged. Do things that replenish your soul. Get your energy. Keep it. Retain it. Get out there. Don't be so hard on yourself. And go to JoniDaniels.com. Absolutely. Right? Go okay. to JoniDaniels.com. All right. Well, thank you for coming in. My pleasure. Always good to see you. Nice to be here. Jamie, she's the best. She is the best, but here's my best friend.